Woo. Ah. This is like nasty water. Supposedly I need a goulash, whatever the heck that is. Oh my gosh, got him. Oh my gosh, that got me big too. We're actually sneaking into One Rod's pond. Oh my God, look at the deer. Yes, ma'am, we're gonna leave. For sure. Warning. Be sure not to skip this intro at all, guys, because if you end up skipping this through, you guys are going to be a little confused on what I'm actually doing in this video. I promise you, you guys are going to enjoy it, but just sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of Kicking Their Bass TV, baby. What is poppin', folks? Welcome to another video. Today, we're at the old Walmart. I swear we're always at Walmart. You guys seem to like it. Maybe you get a little tired of it, but today we're doing something a little bit different. Actually, a lot different. I'm excited to film this video, and we're going to go inside, get some supplies for this whole deal. I'm going to be explaining what we're doing today and then we're gonna go out and get the job done and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. but if you're new to the channel be sure to hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content and also comment below and if you guys are subscribed be sure to hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and just send post notifications after every single upload so you guys want to stay tuned let's get it started so this is actually my first fish rescue so for you guys don't don't know what a fish rescue actually is is when you go to a pond that's either drying up or they're going to be taking all the water out of and all the fish are going to die and we're going to be catching fish and transporting them to another pond so i'm actually in baltimore today as you guys have probably known because i did the one rod clo labs you know we filmed a couple of videos together if you guys haven't seen those be sure to go check them out but we're going to be going to a few ponds that they're actually draining they're going to drain the pond all the fish inside of it are actually going to die and i'm a fish lover so I want to go catch the fish and transport them to an area where they'll actually survive and live on to be 150 years old. So that is exactly why we're inside of Walmart right now. We're going to be buying a cooler for a live well. We're going to be buying a little bubbler for the aerator to keep the fish alive. We're going to be going to these ponds that they're going to be draining and transporting the fish to a secret little pond, which you guys will find out later on in the video. But let's go ahead and look at the supplies, figure out what we're going to buy. Let's go ahead and get it started. So first things first, we need a live well today. But for a live well, what we're gonna be using, we need something that we can transport along with us in the car, and that's also gonna be enough room so the fish actually are obviously a little bit comfortable, a little bit classy, in their own little apartment. So we need like a little fancy cooler. We're not gonna go with something too crazy, but you know, I at least want something that the fish are gonna be comfortable in, and you know, they're not gonna be freaking out and just end up dying on us while we're transporting them to another pond. But we're already doing a good deed today, you know, we're transporting the fish so they don't die um, but I do not want them to die while we're transporting them so let's go ahead and see what coolers they have so here's some coolers right here the Ozark trails which is by Walmart but we don't want nothing this fancy like as you guys can tell like 50 bucks I really don't feel like paying that much um, they got some more Walmart ones down there those are a little bit cheaper but then again I don't want like one that's kind of plastic like this I want one that's kind of more hard similar to this one um let's see what they got so they have these coleman ones they have these igloo ones this is probably going to be probably the best bet it's only 20 bucks um what else do they have here's some more of the ozark trail ones which is actually walmart's brand those are like some classy things we don't want to put these fish in like a, a million dollar mansion you know what i mean we're just a little transportation just like a little uber system so i think we're going to go probably with one of these igloos um this one's only 16 dollars. this one's got rollers on it so we could roll the fish around but then again if we roll it the water will actually pour out the top and we do not want that so hmm options 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 what's the difference between this one and this one i think it's just the color that's only 16 dollars. i think this is probably going to be our best bet let's go ahead and pull this guy down and see uh see the room inside all right yeah, it's a pretty big boy i'd say this is like a little uber for the fish right nothing too fancy but you know something to give them some room let's see the inside yeah this was perfect you know we got a little bit of room in there we're gonna be able to put multiple fish in there if we have to so that's the first step little transportation system for the fishies from one pond to the next now the next step is we need an aerator because we want to keep these fish alive we don't want to kill them while they're in the cooler and uh, while we're driving them to another location so let's go ahead and see what they got Walmart you know usually only carries about one and I've actually bought one before, I just don't have one with me. I flew on a plane out here, I didn't bring my truck. So, these are the ones that they usually carry at Walmart. These are the little 
bubble box ones and this is the one i've actually used before and i know it actually works i've used it for some live bait and me and one rod actually fished a tournament where he bought a cooler and he had two of these and they worked like a charm all the fish survived and it was good from there so i think this is all we need it's only seven dollars that's very inexpensive um i would buy two but i really don't think we need that you know we're not going to have the fish in there for a while oh yeah but that's the it's the hush what's the difference yeah. this is the oh okay so they have two different options here they have the hush bubbles and then the bubble box portable air pump these are both portable um this one's gonna last up to 72 hours this is gonna last 42 hours obviously we do not need it that long but we probably need it for a max of like 15 minutes while we're just driving the fish to another pond so we're probably gonna go with the bubble box uh oh so yeah this is the oh. so this is the piece that's actually gonna plug into the top right here this is gonna go in the end and that's gonna be what goes in the water and this is exactly where the batteries go so we do have to pick up some batteries batteries not included folks so yeah we're gonna get this one it's only seven dollars and 96 cents so it's not breaking the bank cooler was only like 15 bucks total of 20 dollars right here and we're gonna be saving some fishes fishes some little fishies lives today one other thing that i didn't tell you guys is i actually need a few baits um we need some frogs because i am here with Katie today and she uh she actually fished the pond a few times and tell them how grassy this thing is so grassy you can't like, throw anything with an exposed hook like it's really grassy we actually checked it out last night and it's bad like grass everywhere if you're gonna throw anything it has to be a frog and that's why I'm kind of scared about this whole thing of actually catching a fish because it's so so hot outside so let's look at their frog collection look at this guys i cannot believe it i'm up north right now and it makes more sense for them to have the pop and perch up here but they have two rows of pop and pickle perches baby but this stuff is really thick i don't know if a popping frog is going to be the best so we might just go with the standard mm, mm. no i think you're wrong you think the pickle last time i caught one was with a popper was i've only popper? caught them on popper i know i'm just scared i Mm, mm, mm. Get two. I'll buy one. Yeah, I'm not. No, I'll buy them both. Sorry. So we're gonna get one frog that's just white, and then we're gonna actually go with the pop and pickle as well. Let me show you. Yeah, right there. Oh, bite to the sexy, sexy frog right here. All right. Um. So we're gonna go with one of each. Let's see what else they got. Just to just to show you guys, they have a uh, lunker hunt popping frogs. That is not what I need, especially to get through that slop. They have uh, the pad crusher junior. They got a toad runner. They have a super frog by Man's Bait Company. Hmm, they got a Lunker Hunt pocket frog and just pop that sucker in your pocket and you're good to go. What else they got? They got dragonflies. I honestly bet we could catch one on this. <laughs> That's honestly perfect for that, isn't it? Should we get one? Oh gosh, should we? But I don't know if I can catch oh, that far. No, hook. Yeah, I don't I don't see this is the thing. If I get a bite today, I want to make sure I catch it. And a frog is already a little risky. Wait. I just think we gotta go with the frogs, guys. So we're gonna go with one up. white and one pickle. Oh, they didn't have two rows of pickles, they lied to me. But we're gonna go with a pickle and a white frog. That is gonna be good. I think we're gonna do it with that. <laughs> now that would be cool though. I just don't wanna risk it, you know? Like I feel like to pull yeah, those fish. Yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna go with these two right here. Pop and pickle, sexy frog, cooler, the bubbler. Let's get it. Supposedly I need a goulash, whatever the heck that is. I think I need something, some, some big old boots. I need some big old boots to get in this place because I didn't think about this. There's a ton of grass, the place is way overgrown. You guys are gonna see when we get there, so overgrown. First of all, I don't wanna get bit by snakes. I'm not about that life. And second of all, we gotta get water in the cooler, which I didn't think about, so I'm gonna have to get a little wet. And so we might have to buy some of these old boots. It's gonna help us out. I was gonna get some long socks, maybe some like, some pants or something. But I think the best bet probably is to buy some like boots like this. I can just get wet and I can get in the water to get some water for the fish, cause that's like a must. What's up boys? Cowboy Noah coming back at you. I think this is a fashion statement, guys. I can't find any. We're gonna be killing it. I feel like these are pretty good. We're gonna be good to go with these bad boys. These are nine. No, those are sixes. These are nine. Yeah, no, those are nines. I'm not getting these, these are too small. So you're not gonna get a pair? I guess I gotta get the nine. You said sixes are too tight, so I'm just gonna get a nine. But there's nothing in between. <laughs> After we were talking about it the whole time, forgot the batteries. No good. So guys, made it out to the pond. As you guys can tell, that's it behind us. I don't know if you can really tell, it's a little bright. But this is all grass, all out here. That's the only open water. So that's what I was talking about. We can only throw a frog out here. 
So we got them rigged up. I got my sexy boots on. Let me know in the comment section if you think this is sexy. It's my, uh, get a little bit more class here in the video. So we're gonna be walking around this place, figuring out where we are gonna get some water. That's the biggest thing, because there's grass all along the edges right here. So it's gonna be a little harder to get water, but um, I wanna figure that out before we start, just because I don't wanna keep the fish out of the water. But there is a bank over there that we'll probably walk to. And we'll go over there and we'll start throwing the frogs, see if we can catch a bass. All right. See, this is what we were talking about as it's all grown up. There is a little path right here, but all the grass, I mean, it's so bad. Glad I bought these boots, even though they're tearing up my legs. It should be fine. If we can get over there, like I said, on that side of the pond, it should be good. I just want to make sure we can get some water in the cooler. I still want to catch a fish and then have the fish sitting out of the water because that defeats the whole purpose of this video is rescuing fish and saving these fish. Let's see if we can make it on the other side. Should I start here? Yeah. It is shallower here, it looks like that. Yeah, we'll give it a cast or two. Found That's this fine. little spot right here. We can actually walk down. Katie's gonna be fishing a frog too. She's actually throwing the pickle. I'm gonna see if I can catch one real quick. Um, oh my God. I feel like I'm gonna slip and fall or something stupid. Oh my gosh, they're chasing bait right there. Look at that, I'm stuck on a tree. There's fish just chasing bait right there as I'm getting in the water. Shh. Can't do anything. I probably will. Well guys, it's a good thing we saw a fish blow up. Saw a little bit of activity. Like I said, there's grass everywhere in this place. It's like frog heaven. We just need a few fish to bite this. It's bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got him. Oh my gosh, I got him, he's big too. Holy cow, on the frog. Choke the frog. Oh my gosh. First fish, donezo. Look at him choke it though. Oh my gosh. That was insane. All right guys, first fish. I get your blood pumping right there, right there in the top of his mouth. Couldn't have been better. I almost fell when I was hook setting him. But that's the first fish that we rescued. This guy is mad at me right now, but we're actually saving his life because they're gonna drain this pond. And he's a solid two pounder. Holy cow. It's like five minutes in, baby. Let's get it. Katie, give me some of that. Bow. All right, guys, here's the fish. The problem now is we gotta get the water in the cooler. We gotta get the aerator pumping. We already got batteries in it, so it's good to go. But I do have to get water in this, so Katie, can you hold this? I can. Are you gonna drop them though? You can't drop them. Cameraman holds the fish. So we're gonna get some water in the cooler now. Woo! Ah. This is like nasty water. I'm gonna let you know this water is nasty, but I just gotta, I gotta get water for right now. This is like literally dirt water. All right, guys, we gotta walk in deeper. I'm going in, oh shit. All right, guys, I'm trying. This water is just so dirty. The water like is dirt. Okay. Yeah, guys, that was nasty, but. Oh my God. Let me tell you, this fish could die in a week, so. We're gonna put him in there. We're gonna get some of the grass out. We don't want that in there. Watch, watch he doesn't kick out. Oh, he's fine. Now we gotta get the aerator right here. As you can tell, cuts it on, got the batteries in. It's gonna go right in the water. Boom. You guys can look. See? Oxygenator's in the water. He's killing it. He's kicking, he's good and healthy. He's kicking that bass. We're gonna clip it on the side, keep the aerator in, close it so it doesn't jump out. Woo! All right, that was quick. Let's see if we can catch another one. We're gonna try to save as many fish today as we can. I am like, I'm amazed right now because we're in, note that we're in Maryland. That's actually my first Maryland bass. Let's, uh, let's see, he exploded on this thing. Let's see if we can catch another one. <gasps> God, dog, I missed him. <laughs> I'm about to fall. Okay. 
He slammed it. Where am I at? He slammed it harder than the first one. All right, get back in there. He'll probably eat it. Oh my gosh. I guess he missed it. I couldn't tell. He was like all the way across the pond. So guys, we got one fish and we had another bite. We know that they'll eat the frog right now. We're walking to another side of the pond. We're down here through this little trail and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch another one on this frog. It is like 1 million degrees. I've never like been so hot in my life. I really don't know why, but I'm sweating bullets right now. Like it is bad, but I left the cooler back over there cause we don't really want to tote that around. And we're gonna throw a few cash right here. See if we can catch another one, man. I want to save as many fish as I can today. Time to move the cooler over to the other side of the pond. We got like a long distance. I'm already like soaked and sweaty at the same time. Not the best deal, but I'm gonna try to try to somehow get this to the other side of the pond. Oh, okay. We gotta get you out of here, buddy. We might throw a few casts before we get out of here, see if we can catch one more or save one more. All right, Jimmy, we're taking you to the car. All right, one last check on Jimmy. Where's he at? Is he good? Oh yeah, he's perfectly fine. All right, so when I told you guys that we have a little secret of where we're releasing this fish, we're actually sneaking into One Rod's pond right now behind his house and we're gonna be releasing this bass. And it's gonna save this fish's life because that pond is gonna be drained here shortly. So we're about to get there right now and I'll catch back up with you guys when we're about to re release the fish. Guys, we gotta keep it down. One rod doesn't know I'm here. But let's check on Jimmy. See how he did after the car ride. Oh yeah, he's, yeah, he's Jimmy's. So now we gotta figure out how the heck. Oh my God, look at the deer. Look, look at him go, look at him. We can walk down right here. Where are you at, Jimmy? What in the heck is that? Look at that thing running around. See that little bug? Something weird in there. Let's get Jimmy. No, Jimmy. Just cooperate with me. All right. There's Jimmy. He's a fat guy. Fat frog bass. He's a beautiful guy. He's going to survive after this. Let's go down here and release him real quick. Holy moly. <laughs> Watch out. You better be recording. Are you? Kind of, but I keep falling. Oh my God, there's another. That was a deer, look. In the water. You see him? He sees us. Let's I might have to in. toss Jimmy as much as I don't want to. Here we go. Let me know when you're ready. Yes, ma'am. We're going to leave. Okay. Yeah. Go. Right. So some lady's getting mad at me right now, but I want to release this Jimmy. Jimmy swim off perfectly. Now I gotta deal with an old complaining lady. I got gotcha. you. For sure. So you can't be releasing any fish or whatever it is. I got gotcha. you. I understand. We can leave. That's not a big deal. Yeah, okay, thanks. Alright, yeah, of course. We'll get out of your way. Okay. Alright. We're in dump out the water. So guys. We just released Jimmy into the pond. This was a journey, but I'm gonna sign out somewhere else. All right, everybody. So yeah, that was a interesting little deal right there. I've, I get people to, uh, you know, I, I get people to come up to me all the time and they get a little irritated. Um, that lady could have came off in a better way. Um, I still respectful to her, left the property. She didn't own that water, just so you guys know. We rescued Jimmy. That is the main purpose of this video. We don't care about that lady. She ain't gonna bring us down today. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to do another fish rescue next time I come in town here, let me know in the comment section below. But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys in this video. Now I'm done with all you said, all you wanted was my brain